Hi there, for today's video, we're gonna talk about on-camera TTL. And of course, as you know, um, speed lines are designed to work directly on top of the camera's hot shoe. And I've got here the Pentax uh, AF360 FGZ, a Pentax Flash, and also a Pentax K5. The camera here is, of course, Pentax. So traditionally, you have to match up the same company or same system. So here I've got Pentax for Pentax camera flash and camera has to match. And with uh, when you use uh, flash triggers uh, for off camera flash, sometimes or many of the flash triggers in the market, you actually cannot use an on camera flash. But with the Cactus triggers, the V6 or even the V5 um, and V6 II, uh, you see here on the left, uh, it still allows you the ability to use an on-camera flash. Um, and not just that, you can even keep uh, an automatic TTL flash exposure uh, in that scenario. So of course, um, if you have the flash mounted straight on top, of course, camera switch on and the flash is on and also set to TTL mode and all you need to do of course is to in, just mount the flash on the camera and all you do is take a shot and you get a well exposed picture but that's not the case usually when you add in um, a flash trigger and here I've got the Cactus V6 and if I show you the I'm using the firmware 2.1.001 and basically if you mount the flash trigger on of course you can trigger off camera flash but you also have the ability to mount a matching to the camera system which is Pentax as an on camera flash and still get automatic TTL exposure and of course um, I have already set the corresponding uh, flash system and profile. You can see here it's Pentax and I've chosen the AF360 FGZ and select use. And so right now actually the flash is um, operating manually but to turn on uh, the TTL pass through from so the information from the camera is transmitted to the flash and the cactus sandwich in between is just passing on information so but in order to do that uh, you press on the manual button here for two seconds and you will see this on the screen and you see TTL pass through and then there's an icon, the TTL icon will be displayed on the bottom left. So same thing, take a shot here and you get the flash is operating as if it is mounted directly on the hot shoe. So there you go. And that's the Cactus V6. So now it's going to quickly show you um, the Cactus V6 Two, you can see here. Um, this is running on. Let's check. Oh shoot! Batteries are. Oh, oh, that happens. Don't worry. I will just change that to another set of batteries. And oh, and also I should actually mount this first on the camera hot shoe. Camera is on. Switch that on, half press it both times, and it detects the camera as P, which is Pentax. And to show you, just to make sure, the firmware is 1.1.013, that's the multi-brand HSS firmware. So with that said, um, uh, when you mount the flash onto the transceiver, the V6 II can, by default, detect both the camera and the flash, so actually, we have to first switch on, as you can see here, the flash and set that to PTTL mode. 
And then now cameras on, then the last thing to do is switch on the V6 II. And yes, it detects both the Pentax flash and the Pentax camera. So if I don't uh, press anything, the flash will just go off, but it's not well exposed. That's because you have to do the same thing here. Uh, you see the manual button, press that for two seconds, same thing, and you get TTL pass through. And you also see the TTL icon on the bottom left here. So now, after that's activated, take a shot and you get a well exposed picture. Let's try again, right here. And of course, when you have TTL pass through activated, when you adjust your camera zoom, the information will also pass along to, you can see here is now to, what is that? 58, sorry about that. So if I adjust it back down, you will see it's now down to 16. And sometimes you need to half press that and then it, so it adjusts to the different settings you do on the camera. So that's still the passing through um, camera information to the on-camera flash. So this is great for shootings, events or weddings or whatnot that you need a field flash that can operate as if um, you have the uh, flash mounted directly on top of your camera. And over here, I have another V6 II, as you can see here. Um, but this is running on, oops, on a different firmware. And let's see, this is running on the PEN.A.001. With the PEN prefix, that means it's a Pentax specific firmware, and that is the XTTL firmware that's made for Pentax. And so same thing here, mount trans transmitter on or transceiver, and then the flash, and the camera is, has been switched on, so we're gonna switch on the flash. And same thing here, the flash is set to PTTL mode. And the third step, same thing as before, switch that on, and it detects the on-camera flash already and so there's nothing actually anything to set here and you do see the a b c and d groups are in ttl so by default all your off-camera flash groups are already set to ttl however uh, if you also need your on-camera flash to operate in ttl mode same thing as before uh, by pressing down on the manual button here i can show you and now it's actually TTL display, but you no longer actually see TTL pass through because with the XTTL firmware, it's not only passing through because uh, in this case, I got a Pentax flash and a Pentax camera, but you may use a Canon or Nikon or other system. It will still have that on-camera TTL. So it's not TTL pass through per se, it's actually switching your on-camera flash to TTL mode. So, so we have actually dropped that out of saying TTL pass-through on the XTTL firmware. So take a shot, it's well exposed. And of course this also reacts to the zoom. As you can see here, uh, you can actually hear the sound properly of the zoom motor. Yeah, I'm just switching on the zoom here and the flash will operate as if it's directly mounted. So yes, um, Cactus triggers the V6 one or just the original V6 and the V6 two with multi-brand chassis as well as the V6 two with XTTL firmware will allow you to use your um, speed light as an on-camera flash and it supports TTL as well. So I hope this video helps and thanks for watching. Bye bye